is a nest than like the giant nest. <laughs> like a giant nest. Yeah, I was, I was just about to say like that's it. And then I'm gonna meet him and offer him, I'll, I'll invite him to breakfast. Because that's what you do when you find a tiny. Whoa, look at this guy. So I've got, um, I was setting up for some prosperity magic because I'm going to be going live on Sunday at 8 p.m. to do a prosperity spell if you guys want to join me. Right now I am going to be doing a little bit of hair magic. So I'm going to take some of the things off of the altar. Most of them are pretty good. You know, most of them are just my general items that stay there. Um, but I'm going to just replace some things and then I'm going to get started. So I fully intend on doing a uh, an entire video on hair magic alone because honestly I have so many series that I've started I need to just like finish the ones I've started already dude my gosh my dude my fan my fan <laughs> anyway yeah I I really want to um, definitely do some videos on hair magic for myself hair is a really huge part of my everything you know <laughs> I went ahead and put on some wings. Well, I have the Fairy Blessings cards. Ooh. I've let so many people wear these wings that they are now broken and this wing points down there and that one points up there, but um, I think it's still a, it's still special. They're still special wings. I have the Fairy Blessing cards from Lucy Cavendish and Amy Brown. Um, I've been a huge fan of Amy Brown since the 90s. I'm obsessed with Amy Brown's style of fairies. You might remember these from, um, they had a line of t-shirts at Hot Topic in the late 90s, early 2000s that featured Lucy Cavendish's uh, artwork and I, something just fell down my back. That always keeps me out, oh my God. If it's a bug, it's like now in my butt. I just pulled it out, let's see what it is. Oh, okay, it was a piece of glue. <laughs> I thought I was about to pull a weird bug out of my butt. This video was taking a turn, let me tell you. It was all like serious and somber. Oh my God. And now it's chaos. 
Uh, and that's the life of a Gemini. So welcome. Thank you for joining me. The striped stockings were always something that people uh, could recognize about Amy Brown's fairies. And they've always been my favorite. I think they just, they are so pretty. Yeah, this is, it's a gorgeous deck. I love this deck so much. I would love to see more diversity in fairy artwork. When I'm talking about fairies versus the fae, I am talking about two different entities. You know, I'm talking about fairies as in the, um, mythological creatures that I'm talking about like you know cute fairies tinkerbell fairies or or just like fairies from fairy tale stories and and from stories that people right now about the fae I'm talking about um the actual law term for all otherworldly creatures you know I'm talking about um the things that that are a little bit more serious than than um sweet cute fashionable pixies but i know i love both worlds i love that i love the the folklore world and i love the fairy tale world and they're both something that i enjoy anyway tangent um i pulled for myself from this deck a few times oh man like i love this i love her isn't she stunning she's so pretty oh my gosh date me <laughs> Anyway, though, I pulled for myself uh, a few times and I shuffle cards a lot. You know, I really like shuffling. It gives me ASMR, so I shuffle the cards a lot. But each time, there were three times, I received a blessing of elf locks. And so, yeah, hair. Hair magic is something that uh, I participate in a lot, a lot. Um, I am a Leo moon, so just I love the ritual of hair I love the way that we define parts of ourselves by what we do to decorate our our vessel you know and I find it so fun and fascinating to see how people customize their starter character um, and I think that like character customization is a form of art it's a form of self-expression and it's a form of uh, magic you know it's a form of personal magic so when it comes to my elf locks um, I've been sticking to green for quite a while you know I've had lots and lots of different colors I've had red I've had pink I've had pastel rainbow the first time I did green I was like oh I have not gone back green is just the best I love it I love having green hair and since I am doing sort of like a rededication to myself and to my practice this month uh, I think today is a wonderful day to do some elf locks on myself. What does that entail, you ask? I'm going to be choosing some uh, yarn to wrap in my hair. I'll probably braid some, maybe I'll wrap a few. It depends on how I'm feeling. And I'm going to be adding some charms into my hair as well. And I'm going to be doing this in a very ritualistic manner. I really want to take this opportunity to work on things about myself that I want to improve. The blessing of elf locks. Since my rededication is to love and to, to Earth Mother, I want to weave in understanding and I want to weave in empathy. I want to weave in harmony. I also want to weave in prosperity. I want to weave in growth. And even though I'm already taking that moment before I speak or act to check myself and say okay is what you're about to say or what you're about to do is that is that going to come from a place of love or is that going to come from a place of anger or bitterness you know like check it really fast before you just jump into it since i've already been doing that um i just want to stay i want to stay motivated to continue doing that i don't want to fall back on any um any yucky habits or any patterns that that drag me into the opposite space, you know? I want to uh, allow judgment to leak out of my heart and out of my eyes and out of my mind. And I want to be able to really accept people for exactly who they are and not for what I'm imagining that they are or assuming that they are or just judging that they are, you know? I know, let me get my products that I'm gonna use as well. I've got some really dope things from Luna Roots. Luna Roots has the most beautiful account. Like I freak out on Instagram, they're so great. And they have really beautiful handmade botanical balms, serums, makeup, beauty care, body care. And they're all so infused with magic and I'm obsessed with them. So, uh, 
So I got the Sapling Everlasting Balsam Fur and Blood Orange All-Purpose Healing Salve. And because I am working through some really tough heart chakra stuff right now, really, really, <laughs> I'm going to be using this in my ritual. I'm going to use it on my uh, scalp and on my hair, but I'm also going to be rubbing it over this section because as I said that, I felt that I needed it. It literally feels like sore right here and sad. I don't like that. And I also have, <laughs> I also have the Emerald Wave. Now this one I chose specifically because it had Emerald, it says Emerald on it. <laughs> emerald Waves Mugwort and Spirulina Sea Salt Texturizing Hair Perfume. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So this is a new product I think for them and I really, really love it. I've already been using it. I use it on Yule as well. Spritz for a mystical sensorial shift calling your inner ocean deity to dance in the verdant waves of emerald magic. Impart light texture and let your tresses flow freely with this aromatic hair ritual mist. Ooh, you got me. <laughs> I'm also noticing that I've been moved to align with water a lot more. I've been working with me, let's put it that way. Like a butterfly. Isn't this beautiful? I got this at a reptile show, actually. I'm excited to use one of my beautiful beeswax candles from Lace and Whimsy Studio. I love these. I love the color because they are mint and they're perfect. And this is what the altar looks like right now. Still gonna put another orb up there. Gotta put a tea light in the very mobile there. But otherwise, I'm loving it. I decided I wanted to make it very green. I wanted to use a lot of just some earthy uh, heart energy. Brought down my little fairy boy over there. Got lots of Labradorite up here because I really do feel like I need that aura of protection just because of everything that is um, happening within me. But I also feel very um, powerful in my vulnerability. So in a decision to add something to your vessel that means a lot to you, that means something important to you. It has significance to you in particular. You know what I mean? Like you don't go to the hairdresser and say, give me whatever that person over there chooses. You know, like let them pick my hairstyle. No, you choose it, it's your choice. So what you're doing and what you're performing is sacred to you. The video is getting darker and darker. It's getting darker and darker outside, but um, I'm, still, I'm still in ritual mode, so. I'm going to turn the sound off now and let you enjoy some beautiful music while I prepare myself and my hair for this ritual. Thank you. 